Hi guys and welcome back to Sustainability at Home. Today I took you down to the beach because there's a bit of sunlight in the middle of winter and I'm just taking my chances. I hope I don't get wet. I want to show you a very special plant that grows down here close to the ocean in these sandy salty soils. You might know it because it grows everywhere in Melbourne as well in parks and front gardens and um, you might have heard the name as well. It's called Yep, you've guessed it, it's Pig's Face. Very funny name, very amazing plant really. It's native to Australia, which means it comes from here and was used by Aboriginal people uh, long before we arrived on these shores. It's a, it's a fantastic plant because you can A, eat the fruit. It's a bit like a fig, but slightly salty, but also it stores a lot of beautiful liquid and slightly succulent leaves, which you can use as a topping for mosquito bites or jellyfish stings so pretty cool stuff um, and I want to show you today how to grow that plant at home so all you need is to go for a little walk spot it somewhere and cut yourself a piece about 10 centimeters long and take it home I will take you back up to my place now and show you how to grow a new plant out of this little bit of a cutting that you can just pick up anywhere where you find a little bit of pig face. Okay, come with me. Okay guys, so this is exciting. You already know a little bit about the history part. Now, this is a plan that was used by Aboriginal people for many purposes. For example, for the fruit to eat or as a topical treatment for mozzie bites. Um, but what you're going to learn now is how you can use a technique of cloning to make a new plant of this pig face from a cutting at home. Yeah, you had right, it's about making a clone. So you'll see that I took the first 10 centimeters and you can see all these different leaf nodes where the leaves are spreading out. And I wanna cut that right in the middle so I have only two of these nodes left. I'm gonna have two of these. I wanna cut off the lower ones. Be careful with that. And out of this leaf node, under the right conditions, new roots will emerge. Don't leave too much, maybe just about half a centimeter underneath. Now, what else do you need? You need a little pot with holes in the bottom so water can drain freely through the potting mix. So, potting mix in. If you don't have potting mix, sand will work. If you go to the playground, grab some sand or some garden soil, fill it not right up to the top, but just under, poke a hole in the middle. And our cutting, our young little clone plant, goes in. Now, we want to water this in. Now you'll see what I mean with free draining. It should come out the bottom. There we go. If that will be closed up, the little plant will just drown. So that's really important. Find a nice spot on the balcony uh, where you can have it sitting for three, four, five weeks. Yes, it takes a while, but after that time frame, if you kept the moist soil um, and the plant happy, we'll see some roots forming down here. And this will be a real clone to the mother plant. Now, the beauty of this is that lots of other succulents like this guy will react in the same way. So you can take a little cutting and make a clone. Um, so your job now is to have a walk around in the neighborhood and see if you can spot any pig face or any succulents around, maybe in a grassland around yourselves. Um, or even if you have a neighbor that grows them in the front yard, write them a little note, ask if you can take a little cutting to start your own cloning experiment at home. Now, close your laptops and off you go.